Question number 18, it says, we should calculate the compound interest if 120,000 is borrowed for three years at the rate of 16% per annum. So in compound interest, the formula used in calculating the amount is A, which is the total amount, equals the principal amount multiplied by one plus R over 100, where R is the rate, raised to the power of N, and N is the number of years. This formula is used in determining the total amount for a specific time. But what we are asked to find from the question is the interest. So after finding this, we can use this to find the interest because we know that um, amount is equal to the principal plus the interest. Therefore, we can say that interest is equal to amount minus the principal. So this is the formula we are going to use in the end. But we have to find this A first, then we substitute it here. So from the question, you see we don't know our A. So A is unknown. Um, you can see the principle is given. P is equal to 120,000. Um, time, number of years is given, which is N, three years. And lastly, the rate is also given as 16%. So now let us substitute this information here. A will now be equal to the principal, which is 120,000, multiplied by one plus, our rate is 16%, and our N is three. Okay, this is equal to 120,000. To simplify this, you can just say 100 times one is 100, plus 16 is 116 over 100, raised to the power of three. This is equal to 120,000. If you simplify this, you're going to obtain 1.16, and this is to the power of 30. So now let us see 120,000 multiplied by 1.16 to the power of 30. So we first of all have to simplify this before this. So we see 1.16 to the power of 30, and I have here 1.560896. So without writing it, we can directly multiply by 120. And don't forget you are dealing with objective questions. So you don't have to write all these steps. You can skip some if you know it up ahead. So we multiply by 120,000. And we obtain approximately equal to one hundred and eighty seven thousand three hundred and seven point fifty two this is the um, okay this is not an approximate value this is equal to so this is what we have obtained as our amount and you can see it is available here from the option but that's not what we are looking for. What we are looking for is the interest, not the amount. So by getting this, you realize it is from the option, you take it, you are taking the wrong answer. To find that, we have to substitute into this. The interest, which is I, is equal to the amount which we have gotten, is 100, and 87,307.52 minus, let me see if I have space here, 120, 
thousand. So let us subtract. I already have the value here, so minus one hundred twenty thousand. And what we have as our interest, let me call it CI compound interest, is equal to sixty seven thousand three hundred seven. You know the amount is in Naira is sixty seven thousand three hundred and seven point fifty two cos. So this is actually the compound interest we are looking for and it is the option C here. So now let us look on to question number 19.